You're listening to Kate Palmer from sparkletart.com. Today I'm going to show you how to add uh, a little bit of depth and a bit of extra dimension to your Copic coloured images with your Spica pens. Now a lot of people own the Spica pens because they're beautiful and sparkly, um, but a lot, I've seen a lot of people just use them to add a tiny little bit of glitter when they're finished um, rather than really making full use of them. Now what I mean by that is the Spica pens themselves each have colour and you don't have to just use them for their glitter. You can use them for this beautiful translucent colour also. So what I'm going to do today is I have this uh, fantastic image from Sweet Pea Stamps and this one is from uh, Ching Chow Cook and I've coloured the toucan but I've left the final stages adding that extra little bit of uh, highlight and shadow and I'm going to use my speaker pens to do it. So I'm going to start with the bright green. Now this is the melon. And I'm going to use this to add a little bit of depth to the leaves. Now you can see I've got um, the lighter areas in the middle and the darker towards the edge. And I'm going to make use of the colour as well as the glitter in the speaker to add what I would normally do with a darker coloured uh, Copic marker. So I'm just using it to add those little uh, bits of darker colour along the edge that help give the leaf that 3D look. You'll notice I'm adding the spicker as little dots rather than scrubbing with the pen. Now I find this gives a much better result uh, on in two ways. Firstly, you end up with a lot more glitter on your cardstock. And secondly, you'll find that sometimes if you go backwards and forwards over an area with the speaker pen, you actually make uh, little pills on the cardstock. And I don't know anyone who's ever wanted to achieve pills on the cardstock. Um, so just adding it in little spots this way allows you to get better results. It also gives you a little bit more control as to how much you're adding and how much wear. So you might want uh, a greater amount in some spots than others. You can just go over it a bit more and add a few more dots. Now I'm just going to keep repeating this until all of the leaves are coloured. Now the really fabulous thing here is because those spicker markers are, are water-based, going over with the clear marker allows you to spread a little bit of that base colour and the more of the clear you add, the more diluted you make it. But you can also uh, use this clear marker um, to make sure that the green you added, or whatever colour it might have been, doesn't get too intense. You can kind of go over the top and mute it a little. And also if you go over the edges, because you're adding another layer of liquid, well, it's not particularly wet, but enough, um, you can get the edges to soften a little, so you don't get those harsh lines. So it really is a very versatile uh, marker to use over the top of your Copics. I've even used it over the top of watercolour pencils before and you get that same fantastic effect. So you'll be able to see it here where the spots are and you'll notice that it's actually quite distinct spots when I start but adding that clear speaker marker here in particular, just watch that little part if you can see it, it really does blend that base colour and allow you to blend it into the surrounding Copic markers. Now I think that's really exciting because not only do you get the sparkles but you can use that to create that last um, layer of highlights over your Copic image. Now of course you can use these just to see a bit of sparkle. That is perfectly all right, but if you'd like to try something a little different, try using your speakers 
to add a an extra layer of dimension, extra layer of depth to your colored images. You'll be surprised how easy it is. And you can see I'm still just using that dotting technique. I really find that that's the best way to apply the spickers. You get far more of the gorgeous shimmery, shimmery sparkly goodness on there. Um, and it doesn't damage the paper underneath. You can see that adding the clear over the top really has helped blend those initial spots. And then when you tilt it, it's gorgeous and sparkly. I think it's well worth having a go at the spicker blending. It's extremely pretty. Now, next I'm going to go with the turquoise. Now, this is a darker color and I'm going to be blending this with the black. Now, I realize that sounds a bit strange. So I'm going to start by adding just a few little spots of the turquoise down near the bottom of the tail here. And again, up on the, the top of these feathers here where it would be catching the light. Now again, I'm using that same dotting on kind of technique. You don't really want a stripe of color. It look a bit skunky. So I'm not trying to go too crazy here. I'm just trying to add that little bit of shimmer highlight. Now the next step is the black. Again, beautiful black shimmering. So a little bit around the beak. Not too much. You'll notice it will eventually soak in here. And I'm putting up the central line of those feathers just to highlight them a little. You'll notice as it soaks into the cardstock that the uh, stark of that black dissolves a little. It sort of fades And again, a little of the clear, just to help blend those other two. And of course, to add a little more shimmer. So what I'm doing with the clear is going quite heavily over those previous two colors. So I've left one side of the feather here relatively matte, just colored with the Copic. And the top of each of those feathers, I'm going really heavy on the shimmer. So it's quite, quite obvious. Now on the bottom, I'm just randomly going to go over the feather just to help blend those two colors. Now, of course, you've got the Copic coloring underneath as well, peeking through. So it's not all about the shimmer. And then just down the bottom here, while it's still wet, I'm just going to go over it with the black just to define some of those darker areas. So where the feathers sort of sit together or touch one underneath the other. Now again I'm just using this as my final shading tool where you might have gone over with black previously or C9 uh, or some other dark color. I'm actually using my spicker as that final darkest color. Now I'm just going around the edges with the black on this top layer of feathers. I'm not aiming to really do anything apart from pick out the feather outline. Now I just have to add a little bit down the tail here. because so I've neglected that area until now. So a little bit of black is definition just in those darkest areas. Again, I'm not drawing a line. I'm actually drawing a little row of dots joining them together. Now I've already got the turquoise on there on the tail so now all I really have to do is go over with the clear just to blend those two things in. Now you could also go over where the black is and use the clear to blend that in too but you might find that you don't need it so just go gently. You can always add more it's much more difficult to take it away. And you might find that's enough. So this is how I've used the Copic Spickers to add the final layer of depth to an image. So I think you'll be able to see that it's added a deeper layer of green to the leaves. Um, 
that's really made the uh, wing in particular look much more realistic so it's added real depth to those feathers I also like the contrast between the matte of the rest of the bird's body uh, and the wing it just makes it look like something special and of course that little bit on the tail there so when you get up close you can see the individual dots that I've used and really from a distance it does make that look far more realistic so of course if you get extremely close you can see the individual dots um, but from a distance it really does look much more natural as natural as a sparkly toucan can of course <laughs> um, just adding that final depth of color using the speaker pens so give that a try next time you're using your Copic markers that way you get sparkle and a little bit of something extra so I'll give it a go this is how I finished off my toucan I've added a little stickles to the flowers so it sparkles like the wings of the toucan I've got a half a doily back here sprayed with Lindy's Stamp Gang Bells of Island Green which I've mounted over my uh, scruffy grungy background uh, I've used stickles of varying colors on the little pieces of um, curled vine here and the individual flowers and uh, matted the entire piece on contrasting black cardstock and this of course is my favorite card and it's the Eclipse Black 100 so you can see I have a variety of purple in the flowers but those combine to match the purple of that Copic image I've got little vines that I've twisted out of the flower stems and, added, and then added a bit of green stickles too I've got this wonderful wooden trinket here and you can see a little bit more clearly the speaker colouring on the toucan and that little tiny bit on his bill and of course just the little flowers up the top here and that wonderful grungy coloured background here so it really does make that central image stand out. I hope this has given you a few ideas about how else you can use those gorgeous speaker pens. Back with more soon. Thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye.